Hey guys, what's up? Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers and tech. And for this episode, we're going to do a review of the Adidas Solar Boost running sneaker. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we are giving away a bunch of hyperlaces and REMS sneakers cleaning solution to two lucky winners from this vlog. The moment we hit 20,000 subscribers. Subscribe now. Follow me on Instagram. The Adidas Solar Boost is one of the best running shoes, neutral running shoes that you can have in your arsenal if you get the right fit. For this review, what we'll do is we'll go over first the good things about it, then we'll go through the things that I think are points of concern and things that you need to resolve so that this actually becomes a good shoe for you. So let's jump right into it. When it comes to comfort, this shoe is one of the best when it comes to running. Why? Because of the combination of the boost material that you have here on the midsole and the solar propulsion rail system that they put here. The rail system in essence is like an EVA insert, a giant EVA insert, which helps with the stability and the structure and guidance of your feet when you are running. In short, when you are running, especially on boost, there's a tendency for the boost material to be loose and the upper so that your foot becomes a bit unstable. That doesn't happen with the solar boost. The combination of the railing system gives your feet guidance so that when you step forward, it's a full step forward and there's no side to side. Apart from that, you also have incredible containment with the upper. There are several things happening here. First, you have this tailored fiber thing here on the side that really contains the midfoot. It really keeps your foot contained. It really gives su superior lockdown. You also have that same ribbing, that same kind of material, well, different kind of material, but same type of con containment here on the forefoot. So you have a very tight and snug shoe all around from the upper. Then when you go down, you have the solar propulsion railing system giving guidance to your feet as you walk and as you run. I said this during my review of the Solar Glide. I, I, while it is a neutral shoe, I'm really amazed that this works also really well for people with flat feet. I think it, the solar propulsion system really isn't a gimmick. It's not just for show. It's not just a nice color thing that you see here. It really adds stability and structure to every step that you take when you are wearing the Solar Boost or the Solar Glide. I'm actually a huge fan of this specific insert. When it comes to the aesthetics, I love the design. I love the color. It's a bit funky. Definitely has a lot of character with that orange gradient to light blue thing that you have here, which stretches all the way around. It's just a nice color pop that, you know, gives the shoe so much more personality compared to your typical running shoe. Now, the great thing about this is that while it doesn't scream for attention, when people look at it, they have a tendency for their gaze to linger because of the color blocking and the color styling of the shoe. A nice touch, by the way, that I really appreciate also is that they use light blue lace tips to match the color of the part here of the shoe. So again, in terms of aesthetics, I like it. And it's definitely something that's great for athleisure to come out with a very casual and fun vibe. So those are the good things. Now let's get to the main issues that I have with the Solar Boost. There are actually two. The first thing is this been covered by a lot of YouTubers as well, is that there is a tendency for the shoe to get warm. Mainly because the material that they use is not that breathable. In fact, it, I think they put, up, they put more focus and priority on durability and containment versus breathability, which I think was the intent of the shoe. Because this is primarily a running shoe more than an athleisure or a casual sneaker. So that's an issue, I think, for people who are looking for lifestyle sneakers. They'll find this warm, they, especially as the day progresses, especially if you're li you live in the Philippines when, where, you know, when the summer is extremely hot then it becomes quite an issue, especially if you even wear thick socks. The second major issue that I have with it is the sizing. Because if you don't get the right size, this shoe can be horrible for your feet. And I can pinpoint it to one particular part of the shoe. It's this part over here. This part, let me just turn up the light so you guys can see better. This part of the shoe, the one in the middle of the laces and you know the toe box over here is really tight. I mean, it's not flexible at all. Usually, when you go to other shoes, this is far more flexible and stretchable. This one, it's just really tight, making the entire toe box really narrow and it pushes down. So if you don't get the right size, you will get a very uncomfortable feeling on the shoe because this hard material will keep on biting down to the top of your feet. So again, this this can be a deal breaker if you get the wrong size. And, and that's why I strongly recommend 
that you guys don't buy online when you go for the solar boost. Do not buy this online unless you're able to try it first in the store and then you find the right size for you. Because buying blindly with the size that you have in your head might really uh, you know, end up you buying a lemon of a shoe because you'll just end up not using it because this part will be too tight and you'll be really annoyed with the feel of the shoe when you have it on feet. So do I recommend the Solar Boost? If you are a serious runner, I think it's definitely an option that you might want to consider. It's something that you might want to try. Uh, if you ask me, this is one of the more fun running shoes that I have in my collection and I'm having a blast just running with this one compared to the other shoes that I have. And I have a lot, so, so I think that speaks a lot. I, I just love how really the what they call this the solar propulsion system works with the mid with the boost together with the flexi web and the continental outsole all of that combined plus the lockdown for me makes this a really fun uh, everyday running shoe now will i wear it for athleisure maybe for short periods of time because again like what i mentioned it can become a bit warm and while i would understand it being warm in a workout scenario because it doesn't really matter for me if I'm working out and if this becomes warm a bit because your entire body is already warm anyway. Uh, but in everyday, you know, wear, that can become an issue. So I wouldn't actually recommend this as a lifestyle or an athlete sure shoe because you have so much more many options available. You can go for the, you know, the pure boost, the ultra boosts, and a lot of other shoes within the 8,000 peso price range. So this for me is more of a performance shoe more than anything else. And that's actually it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Adidas Solar Boost. Uh, I'll be doing a comparison with the Solar Glide. I did a review on that. I'll put the link down below. And maybe I'll probably also do a comparison with the Ultra Boost so that, uh, you know, we can round it off well. And maybe even compare it to a bunch of other running shoes from my collection from different brands such as Nike, Mizuno, Asics, and all of that stuff in the coming days ahead. So that's it for this review. I hope you're all staying dry, by the way. I know that we're in the thick of the rainy season here in the Philippines. So I hope all of you are dry and safe and away from floods. God bless everybody. Peace. Have a nice week.